are saying it's genocide, blah, 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 blah. So what are, what are they supposed to do? Like, Stay there and die. They'd rather die. Like I'm telling you, they'd rather die than be expelled and not allowed back in. For, you can't speak for any, every gospel. That's what I, that's what I perceive. So you're saying they, <laughs> because you know, they'd all the, rather kill themselves than go to Egypt, basically. Yeah, because the Palestinians who were expelled in '48 were never allowed back in. So what are they going to do? Live their whole life as a refugee? They don't, they don't want to do that. You know, in Lebanon, they're not allowed to vote. They can't go to university. They're not allowed to be professors. You know, you know professionals. Right, they, they're all condemned why, to live. Why uh, you know. The, why are the uh, low rights of uh, Palestinians only talked about when it's with the Israelis and not in like Lebanon or Jordan or Syria and all the other places? Oh, well, because they want to pretend that there's no more refugees, that the all the refugees have become yeah, I mean, Jordanians. No, no genocide allowed in Gaza. In not in our name. The world only uh, ever talks about these issues with the Palestinians. Not in our name. No genocide allowed in Gaza. Yeah, I know. They should be condemning uh, Egypt for closing the Rafah crossing there for a long time. Yeah. As well, yeah. Um. Hmm. Oh my. And then there's the matter of the gas offshore from Gaza. You know, that a uh, trillion dollars. Uh, uh, 500 million billion dollars worth for 1.3 trillion cubic meters of gas. And then there's this canal they want to build to the Red Sea. Yeah, Hamas got, Hamas got that. They make a mega tunnel. Like a ginormous tunnel that goes everywhere. Yeah, well, they could do it together, you know, like everybody there could be rich, you know, with the revenue from transit and the gas, you know, wow, no problems, you know. There's enough for everyone. What do you think a, a realistic end solution would be? Like not some. I did it in my book, The Federation. I'm serious. That's the way to do it. That's because a, a one unitary state, like no, they no, say. I mean realistic. Like that would actually happen. Like I no think offense, it, it is realistic. No, stay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But. Like to this war. Okay, okay but right. General general oh, yeah. Thing, like uh, I, yeah, there has to be mutual recognition. Palestine is going to be recognized by the UN General Assembly soon. I think a big then they can no a negotiate. A big step should be a re-election in you know, Israel. Yeah. Someone a lot more moderate, like uh, Yair Lapid or something. Could yeah. Be the prime minister. And in the face of a Palestine state, they'll have to find somebody who's rational enough to be able to negotiate yeah. and get the best, you know, for the Jewish Israelis. Definitely. I mean, Hamas isn't going to go unless they're violently killed or forced out. So Hamas is happens. not leaving. I, the, the first step needs to be a re-election in Israel, I think. Hamas is even being admitted into the PLO now, together with the other uh, resistance factions. They're all unified. Oh, did you hear they, uh, they killed some high-ranking member of like some clan in, in uh, Gaza? The dog or something? Food. Oh, something no. Starts with a D. And there might, there's a small chance of a civil war in Gaza during the war now. <laughs> wow. Um, and then the... Uh, the Palestinian uh, Authority uh, Prime Minister resigned, and there's a new Prime Minister appointed by the President. Appointed. <laughs> and, you know, the President is not even legal, you know, because he's gone beyond his term of office. Oh, it's so corrupt. Yeah. Did you, did you know the, uh, the popularity rate of, uh, is high, of Hamas is higher in uh, the West Bank than Gaza? 70% now. Classroom. 70, yeah. yeah. Before, they had 40% over Fatah, 35%. And now they've gone up to 70%. And Fatah is like nothing. Oh well. They're going to set up a government, they're supposed to set up a government of national reconciliation. That means they're from representatives from the different political factions. But they haven't done it. They're so slow. Oh well. Oh, I don't mind this, but like, I have no problem. I'm interested. Like, are you you record the conversations? Like, yeah. Somewhere? Oh, cool. Yeah, everything the whole day long, you know. To, you know, and all. That's then a I, lot of footage to go. Through. Yeah, and then I put it on YouTube, and people can see what it's like. And then. Oh, wait, so am I on your YouTube channel? Yeah. Wait, what's your YouTube? Abraham Weisfeld. I can't, I can't, I don't have data because, right So all the others, you know, in the Palestinian Solidarity Movement, they can actually meet people on my videos who are Zionists and who are arguing so they can see what people are thinking and then they can hear what my responses are. 
you know, but they'd never hear this otherwise. They never talk with, you know, Jewish people who are not assimilated. Yeah. Is there your name again? Abraham. Yep. Weisfeld is W E I Z F E L D. Okay. Is it there? No, no, I, I don't have data right now, so uh, I'm going to wait till I get home. I've got, I've got all the videos from, from Palestine, too. I went to all the Palestinian demonstrations and videoed what the soldiers were doing and, and what the kids were doing. Wait, pa you mean Palestine or pro Palestine protest? Palestinian, oh, Palestine. Oh, yeah. the real Palestinian resistance there, with the young kids in the street, even throwing stones too, and then the slingshots. They have these, you know, David slingshots. Wow, yeah. they're all professionals. It's incredible. I've got all, all recorded, you know, from behind the Palestinian lines, and then showing what the soldiers are doing. Not that. I even have one video in which they shot me. I got shot by a rubber bullet right there. Like, yeah. Like 110, like, how bad was it got it? hurt more and more, you know, as time went on. You know, it was, and there was this empty hole in my skin, <laughs> but my bone didn't break because I have good bones. So, lucky. Um, oh yeah. So, uh, violence should never. I mean, ideally, no one would use violence to get where they wanted. Yeah, yeah. But, I argued that yeah. to the Palestinians when I was there as well. Yeah. I was saying, don't do you so know the, these suicide the, bombings. The sad thing is that with Israel. It would eventually get them where they wanted because they have enough military power. With all these resistance groups in Gaza and the West Bank, they really just push them back and get, like, their violence is delusional because they'll, they'll never get them anywhere. So of course. They, they really Do you know how many problems. kids, children now, are going to grow up to be fighters? Yeah, there are this is a children in, the, in Gaza it, uh, who will like, fight. They, they, like, I mean, you know, I'm not talking about 10,000 or 20,000 like Hamas is now. I'm talking about. 500,000. Well, I mean, maybe they want to fight back, but I don't think that necessarily means being able to like, join Hamas after this war. Because after this war, there's... If they're they orphans... Already, already. If they're orphans, they will. Yes, and they might take up armed struggle, but the Hamas' leadership is totally destroyed. Like, the majority of their weapons are like, in, in the dust. Like, they, they, build, they, really they, they build weapons, they even. They can't go back. Like, after this war, I think... Uh, I heard on I saw on NBC that they're going there's going to be an indefinite occupation of the Gaza Strip and different countries are going to help rebuild it. They're going to demilitarize. The U.S. It. administration and Chuck Schumer says it's going to be a Palestine state. Yeah, no, I not occupied. No, yeah, but they should. It, it needs to be de demilitarized before. At that least, can at least that can be Iran. negotiated. Yeah, I yeah, would agree have, to that yeah. myself. Yeah. I mean, I think they should have a right to like a like a non-jihadi terrorist group uh, army who just is there to defend themselves. But, uh, yeah. Hamas can't be their army. Yeah, it shouldn't be. It should be de demilitarized. Yeah. Yeah. But Israel should withdraw its military from the Palestinian territories, including the West Bank. Well, I mean, after the war, they are going to have to occupy it for some time. But I don't. Then they, then they should stop. It shouldn't be. A, we want this territory. I, it should be, it should be uh, as a transition. No, not the Israel military, but an international peacekeeping force from the United Nations yeah, to separate the two sides to make sure that they can't start up again. Yeah. That's the way it's done. All right, well, I have to go. Very good. Okay, yeah. great. Okay, wonderful. Bye-bye. Not in our name, no genocide allowed in Gaza. Not in our name, no genocide allowed in Gaza. Yeah, yeah, but I, I cannot tolerate Israel. Down with colonialism. <laughs> 